How to activate beast mode on the Galaxy Note 9. Coming up right now, let's go. So what is up guys, Nick here, helping you to master your technology, how to activate beast mode on the Samsung Galaxy Note 9. Now this also can apply for Galaxy Note 8 users, a Samsung S9, S9 Plus users. Most of these tips will still work. So if you got those devices, you can follow along as well. But by the end of this video, we're gonna make sure that your Note 9 stays running like a beast. What that means is performs better. It's a more efficient experience on the day-to-day -day using the Galaxy Note 9. First up, let's begin by disabling Bixby as much as possible. So off to the left, you're gonna find Bixby Home. You might like this feature, and if you like Bixby, just skip on to my next step, just you know, go on to the next one. But over here, you can go ahead and pinch in anywhere on the screen and turn that guy off. Now, that's not the only way Bixby activates. A lot of times, you'll accidentally hit this button below the volume rocker, the Bixby button. So let's go ahead and click that button. You can see Bixby does activate. Now, Google Assistant is on this phone and using that seems to be more accurate most of the time. So let's go ahead and click the three dot menu and hit settings here for the Note 9. And you can see that there's really no way to disable it, but you can click the Bixby key and put it on twice to open Bixby. When you do this, the chances of you clicking that button two times in a row is just not high. So you're probably not gonna disable or activate Bixby automatically by clicking that button twice. So if you wanna fully disable this, I do recommend you download an application called Package Disabler Pro. Now Package Disabler Pro does cost 350 in the Play Store, but this app can disable Bixby all together. So, and all your other bloatware on your phone. So download this and disable those applications that you don't want on your phone and Bixby if you would totally wanna get rid of it. But as far as the Bixby settings, let's head over back into those settings. Now we have it on two click to open. If we go into settings here, you can also turn off voice wake up so you will no longer activate Bixby by saying hi Bixby. The chances of you activating it by saying hi Bixby if you don't like the feature are not high, but have this off just in case. So that's the first tip is disable Bixby page and disable it from clicking on after one press. And now you'll likely not really encounter Bixby all that often on your Note 9. Number two is the speed up animations. This is the obvious one that basically every Android phone can benefit from, but let's go down to the About Phone section. When in the About Phone section, click Software Information. When in there, go down to your build number, click this seven times repeatedly until you see a little pop-up window down here that says Developer Options Enabled. Then head back to your Settings menu, scroll down, go to Developer Options here at the bottom. We're gonna scroll down until we find animation duration scale. So let's go down here. You can see animating scale, duration scale right here. Put these on 0.5. Now the reason why I don't put them to off is because it takes away the beauty of even having an animation, but it does speed it up at 0.5 enough where you definitely will feel it. The one that really makes you feel it though is the transition one. So let's go ahead and put on one and you could see how that settings opens and you could see it's just a little bit slow. Let's hit it on 0.5 now and watch this. Boom, you see how fast that was? Boom, you see how fast that was? And all apps do benefit from this. So now your applications will open a little bit faster for the Galaxy Note 9. Now, my next tip is to install the Google Keyboard because the Samsung Keyboard is just not as accurate in my experience as the Google Keyboard. So go to the Google Play Store and get the Google Keyboard for your device, open up the Gboard and then just select your input and follow the steps and you will have it enabled. Once you do have that enabled, let's go back to a field, text field. Down here, you can go ahead and turn off the Samsung keyboard and go to Gboard. Now, I realize that this is not gonna improve performance too much, but I find that the accuracy of typing on the Google keyboard is just so much better than the Samsung one that it can actually speed up your typing experience for the Galaxy Note 9. So I would definitely recommend getting the Google keyboard for your Galaxy Note 9. They also have plenty of themes if you're not digging the color of it, if you like that white color. They got tons of different themes here for this keyboard. Also, you can put your own themes, you can download your own picture, so it's super customizable as well. So you don't have to feel like, well, I like that color and themes I can get on my Samsung keyboard. You can do most of those features right here from the Gboard. Next up, let's head into settings again, and we're gonna disable some unused advanced features. So if you notice right here, Samsung usually has most of these turned on by default. Now, not all of them you're gonna wanna turn off because it might take away from the experience of your phone, but the lesser these are on, the better the performance should be for the device. At least that's what I've noticed. So if you don't like fingerprint gestures, that would be like 
this guy right here, when you pull down the notification tray, you might want to turn that off. If you don't need the one handed mode, you might want to turn that off. If you don't need palm swipe to capture, we use your palm to swipe and capture a screenshot. You might forget that's even on. You could disable that. So just go through these and disable some that you're not going to be using. I wouldn't say disable all of them. Again, it will take away from the experience, but disable some of them that you don't think you're going to be using. And if you never visit the advanced feature section, they're going to always be on by default the next tip does reside in battery settings so let's go to device maintenance and then we're going to go ahead and click battery here another way to get to this section alternatively is to scroll down from the notifications tray long press power saving and you're right there in battery settings now go all the way down to the bottom and you're going to see right here where it says always sleeping apps now let's go ahead and click that and let's add every single application that you don't want running in the background, similar to maybe on the Apple iPhone background app refresh. You definitely want to add these here. Now they won't open, they won't run in the background. And if you know the applications you don't use that much on your phone, add them here. It'll save you battery life and should improve performance as things won't be updating in the background, constantly refreshing notifications, stuff like that. So that's my next tip here on how to activate beast mode for your Galaxy Note 9. So the next one does reside in the display settings. Let's click display and let's go down here to screen resolution. You can see that I have a WQHD plus, but I do find that it performs a little bit better on both battery and a little bit better on performance in full HD because it doesn't have to push as many pixels. So there's a reason why it's on full HD out of the box. It's for the optimum efficiency of your Note 9. So keep it there unless you really don't care and you want it at WQHD. I would recommend leaving it at full HD for optimum performance. That's why it's on by default. Okay, so the next one is in settings as well. Let's go to device maintenance and let's click the three dot menu up here at the right. Now we're gonna hit this thing that says auto restart. So what this does, if you turn this on, it's gonna restart your phone automatically once per week. It's gonna basically clean it out, clear out cache, stuff like that. And it's gonna keep it running efficiently. You don't even have to do anything. You could even set the time and day that it will restart that's efficient for you. It could be in the middle of the morning when you're sleeping, you know, whenever, just to keep it running smooth. So turn this guy on and pick the schedule you want for it to auto restart. That's a huge tip for keeping this thing running smooth. Now this next one doesn't really involve Samsung. It involves getting an application called Nova Launcher. Now the reason I recommend Nova Launcher is because it's still to me faster than the Samsung experience. So if you have this installed, you can customize it whatever way you want. But once you get it on there, I wanna let you know there's one feature I find that really changes the game over the Samsung launcher and that's look and feel, hit the scroll speed and put on faster than light and animation speed faster than light. When you do this on Nova launcher, the animations are ridiculously fast for this device. So you can see we're now in Nova Launcher and just check out how fast these animations are, especially the scrolling. So let's get out of here and let's scroll left to right and you could see just super quick here for Nova Launcher and it's definitely gonna be improved over the Samsung experience. Now, a lot of people are not gonna wanna do that because a lot of people do like the Samsung experience launcher, but if you want a little bit of a faster launcher, I do feel Nova is still the way to go, even here in 2018. Next up is to change your home button navigation. Now, this seems like, how does that make it any faster? Well, it doesn't really make it any faster, but again, beast mode is efficiency and faster. So you can see at the bottom here, that if I hit button layout, you don't know how much of a difference this will make. Depending on your habits, where you like your back button, this can totally change how slow your feel, phone feels because you're gonna be habitually clicking one side more than the other. And if you have it on the wrong way, it's definitely gonna slow down your experience. So make sure you find what's comfortable for you here in the navigation home button settings of your Note 9. It will definitely make you a lot faster when you're operating this device. Not so much the phone itself, but just your operation of it. And lastly, I do have a bonus tip for this device. Store your photos and videos for the Note 9 on your internal SSD. That would be the internal storage of this device. Now, I know it's tempting to use an SD card, but if you have 128 gigs, you have the 512 gig especially, these internal SSDs are a lot faster than most of those SD cards you can put in here. So if you want faster photo transfer storage and all that stuff, use the internal storage that's on this device. So that's it. That's how I activate beast mode on the Galaxy Note 9. Again, making it more efficient and faster in your every 
day use. And most of these tips aren't going to really change the fact that you still have a 10 nanometer Snapdragon 845. You still have a great you know, eight gigabytes of RAM or six gigabytes of RAM. So it's already a beast out of the box, but just the everyday operation should be more fluid for you, more efficient than it was when you first set it up after applying most of these tips. If you found this video helpful, entertaining, informing, do me a favor, click that like button for me. If you're new here, consider subscribing for more. Any questions, comments, concerns, feedback, suggestions, drop them down below in the comment section. I do read them. Thank you very much for watching. It is greatly appreciated. Nick here helping you to master your technology. Be sure to be well and peace.